what they're doing there they're, they're representing the traditional games but that's not the games that we play so in the Outer Hebrides these traditions have never ended and they are known as the gathering of the clans I am Matt Gregor son of Gregor Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey, hello. Welcome and thank you so much for joining us again for another episode of the A Midlife Traveler podcast. My name is Laura and I'm your host. We are in season one, which is focused on Scotland. And in this series of podcasts, we're addressing a lot of aspects of Scottish history and culture through the voice in the opinions and the mind of a Scotsman named James, and also occasionally through my own experience. And today's episode is something that is really interesting, possibly because it's so iconic as a cultural expectation of Scotland, and then also to me, possibly because I pretty much misunderstood <laughs> the whole um piece of it so so what am i talking about i'm talking about the highland games now being an american we have scottish organizations and scottish families throughout the united states that gather and have these highland games and and even just right near me in the seattle area we have a massive highland games that happens the end of july each year and what i learned when I went actually into Scotland and I spent time with the Highlander and I asked him about this piece of his culture is that it's not a game. And the Highland games that we look at and we think of today are deeply, deeply, deeply rooted in historic Scottish clan tradition and something different, which is called the gathering of the clans. So today, there is something that's sort of general, hey, we're going to the Highland Games, but there is something bigger and deeper and more historic behind that game atmosphere that still to this day occurs, particularly in the Highland and Island areas of Scotland, where the tradition of clan leadership remains strong today. So this is a story that I'm so grateful and thankful that James was willing to share. That he's willing to share it with me and that he agreed that I could share it with you. Because he is a person who grew up in the Highland Island areas, in the remote areas. He grew up under a system of clan tradition. He grew up speaking Gaelic. He grew up in a very, very different culture than the core mainland of Scotland and Britain and the big cities today. So this is important to him. And I think you'll hear that through his voice. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to James so you can hear him talk about the Highland Games and the Gathering of the Clans. I think the initial question he was asked was, hey, could you tell me about the Highland Games? And this is what he answered. The games are representative, I hate saying this, but I'll say it, are representative of a tradition of Scotland that for many of us has never stopped being a tradition. It is known as the gathering of the clans. And this is where the individual men from the clans would all meet and compete in certain games. And this was to avoid the murdering and killing of our greatest warriors and clan challenges. Because then we would have nobody to to fight the enemy. So after a while they went, because normally with a clan challenge, rather than going to war, you would get your best fighter against their best fighter. And whoever won, that, that was the war won, that was a decision. But then 
as the foreign enemies were pushing into Scotland, the clan chiefs were going, wait a minute guys, we, we're ending all our finest warriors here, and we've got enemies on the doorstep. So instead of fighting each other, they made games that involved strengths and techniques. So if you had an issue with another clan, you would compete in these games. And the most men that won those games would be the that would be the clan that would have won that art particular argument, let's say. The Highland Games today is a social event for people to go and enjoy. Men will dress up like Highlanders and throw bits of wood that look like cabers. They'll they'll toss hay bales over that's not part of the Highland Games, that's a, 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 a more an American thing. Throw hay bales over a pole, um, uh, throw a small cannonball called a shot putt. They are what they are doing. They're they're representing the traditional games, but that's not the games that we play. So, in the Outer Hebrides, these traditions have never ended, and they are known as the gathering of the clans. I am MacGregor, son of Gregor. My clan chief is Farker MacGregor. If he asks me to compete in his honour and name, I cannot say no. And I would never say no. Because when I am asked, this is, makes me feel so proud. And it makes my family feel proud. So what happens is, through the season, all the other clans on the island, they've had competitions just between their own men. And then the winners will, of all the clans will then compete in one event called the Gathering of the Clans. And this is a very important day for Ireland and Highland men. Because the chances are, this is where you're going to meet your wife. Because we are encouraged, obviously, not to marry within our own clans. Because it doesn't produce the strongest children. So it's a day for the men to compete against each other in a very alpha male way. A very ooga booga way. Because... We are trying to show the females of the opposite clans that we can provide. And it is important that it's through physical strength because if you live on the island, you are going to be a farmer or a fisherman. So you're proving that you can, I'm strong, I can pull, pull up fishing nets. The women don't really care, to be honest with you. And then in the evening, there'll be some dancing. And then hopefully you get to get a wee shimmy with a, a woman from the opposition clan and hopefully her brother's not had too much to drink and you get a bop in the face but quite often the bop in the face is really good because then the sister wants to clean it up for you so the gathering of the clans is, is essentially what the Highland Games has turned into it, but on, it's on the mainland because for the people of the north or the men of the north nothing about that whole day is a game it's, it's fierce competition fierce competition 